Panda Magpie! In this video, we are going to explore this! The Philips PMC100 Composer! From 1986, I think. Very peculiar FM groove box. Arguably the first MPC. They just got the letters wrong. <laughs> I'm going to uh, work with it mainly in DAW, use it as a FM synthesizer. But, since I'm totally unable to find a manual in English, the one included was in Dutch, and I'm also unable to find like a proper tutorial on how to work with it. And since it's got quite a few buttons and an LCD screen and a tape that can read both data from tape and you get a music data tape included, but you can also record two tape. I figured I'm gonna start this video with trying to do a really fast tutorial based on how I have learned to work with it. We're gonna jump straight into that and then we're gonna move over to DAW and then after that I'm probably gonna try to do a speed modification on the tape because if you can make like record from it to tape and make tape loops with the grooves that you make and then slow those down that might be really really cool but let's start with putting in a battery. Reason I haven't put in the last battery is because when I do it starts sounding even when it's turned off. Let's end with the tape, the reading data. We focus on this section first, not this section. But I can show you that we also have a microphone. And it sounds like this. So I guess if you wanna like karaoke to whatever grooves you make, that's, that's fantastic. However, the humming sound is, is picked up by the microphone. So, and also the noise floor on there. Yeah, if we turn off the mic, like the, the, oh yeah, let's start up the synth section and when you do it starts up in demo and you can pick one out of three demo tracks And they're very nice to get out of demo you have one of these purple ones So you can pick step time or real time or tape or demo So we're gonna skip tape and demo for now and we're gonna focus on these two and we're gonna start in step time Because that's when you can do like sequence type stuff and we have to confirm and that's the yes button. These four buttons are navigational buttons. So the two up top is up and down an octave. Octave is not that navigational, but it's a very nice feature. Then we have uh, going from side to side, but also yes and no. So that's very good. We always start in disco. And of course we... Also have a sound. That's a very weird sound. And to <laughs> work with sounds, and volume, and act style, and act mode. These blue buttons are where you sort of arrange stuff and also mix and shit like that, but you also pick voices. And up here now, we can see that we can switch voice for Mel, which is the one we're gonna focus on now, but also act one, two, three, four, and bass. And on the back side, you have like a sheet sheet for a hundred different melody voices and also 15 different melody and accompaniment voices. So like every tacky FM synth sound you've ever heard, they tried to include. I don't think I mentioned that this is Philips. Philips makes vacuum cleaners. We're gonna stay in Mel, and you just go up and down on the numbers from one to a hundred. And the top ones are insane, like 87, maybe? <laughs> 86. Yeah, you just pick one and then you press enter. Ooh. They're all called really weird things, also, the effects ones. Space warp! Space warp! It's a really shitty keyboard to play on, but it's kind of fun, especially when you succeed with like. Okay, that one is really nice. 32. Let's stick to 32. So we have our voice now. Then we uh, press start. So we're back in the step mode. We're currently on step one. So what you do is you just pick a note. Let's go with a C. And then you press enter. Now we're on step two. Down here, you can see how long the note is that you just put in. So, I guess we put in that long of a note. 
And that's what you switch here. And you can do shenanigans and rest. Here we also have BPM, so you can go up and down in BPM. And you can of course turn off the drums. You can go like back and forth in all of these steps. So maybe step two, we want it to go down an octave. You know, two octaves down now even. You can edit them on the fly. You can also switch note of course and do stuff here. But we're just gonna jump down. That was very nice. I like it! Nice! Now, just to show, we can go into X style and we can switch from disco to something else. But what that's also gonna do is it's gonna switch out the lovely, lovely synth voice that we picked for like the preset for that particular one. So if we switch to country, uh, yeah. We are switching everything out, like the BPM and voice. Also, the stereo image is amazing. Drums. Not drums. But okay, let's move on over to real time. And we pick Super Gling. I don't know what like Gling, Super Gling and Pro Mode really means. I know that you do stuff with, in tape with it, but other than that, no idea. But if we pick Super Gling, at least what we can do is we can do arrangements. I don't know how to combine these arrangements with the step mode that we started in. If you can do like a melody thingy shenanigans thing and then do an arrangement, I believe you can. Like it would be so dumb if you cannot. When Super Gling, we're in arranged. We're in funk, we're on step one. Now, no sound, but you can see here, root, is lighting up. So you can pick a root chord then. So let's go with a C. Then if you pick type, then it's one of all of these different types. So we can go like C um, uh, major seven. Enter. So now it plays those chords that I put in. And you can change them out for other chords or you can add a bunch more volumes a tiny bit, switched out all the voices. Mwah! So nice. We can also switch act mode. We were in the range. If we go to very strong, it's gonna be like that. And sustain, it's just gonna put them all down. That was a little bit of a tutorial for you. I hope it was uh, not too... But let's try the tape out, because why not? So this is a music data tape. It reads data, which is really cool in my opinion, because I don't know much about technology. You have a bit of a sheet sheet here where it goes through like the one, two, three, uh, or accompaniment styles that it adds and then pro mode arrangements which is a bunch of songs and then step time compositions where we have a guitar solo that we're gonna listen to because that's cool this one is in data now and the tape is just exactly the same on both sides and what you do is you, you just press tape and then you press load and confirm and now it's just gonna read data from the tape. And it's gonna start saying over here, sort of giving you, yeah, where you are on the tape. Okay, so one user, so this is one of the top three ones, user accompaniment styles, and it counts down until it's done. And the first one is Africa by Toto, or just in general. Yeah, okay, weird. Now it's not saying like user, 
So now we're on that list and yeah, number five, the lady in red. Then we have money, money, money. Oh, but very tacky. Okay, so then yeah, we pre pro mode and play. Yeah. I guess it doesn't play the melody here either. You're supposed to sing the melody. <laughs> well, we want to hear the last thing, the guitar solo, step time composition. What? Two hundred steps? How many steps? Three hundred almost. More? How many steps can you add? That's insane. Still only scratching the surface, I feel. If you have this one, and know way more than I do, feel free to leave very informative comments. I won't pay you for that labor. But what I will do is make music now. So we're gonna move over to DAW because all of these... Also, I really like the dry drum sounds. I am a sucker for really dry electronic drum sounds. So let's stand up and enjoy ourselves for a second. Okay. So let's start a, a brand new project. That's what I feel like doing and it's what I've been feeling like doing for, I guess, the last couple of videos. I mean, with this one, we can use this mic as well. We can use this microphone. <laughs> we can also uh, take this one out and see if we can utilize tape effect. Shout out to Tatake. Link in the description, why not? Bye Tatake. This is a short one. Let's continue throwing things around. We do drums, for example. I really like the dry drum style. We just rest on, on step one, then start. Ah. Very broken sounding. But if we record it dry also, then we can jump in between. Okay, we got the tape and the other one. So you can sort it here. Where it shifts. It's a tiny bit of a panoration. But I also added some meaty drums to make it a bit more fat. <laughs> so now we need to start with picking a voice. And I really like starting with bass. It's kind of a nice trick. You can you can press it and then go down. And I just want. God. Okay, I added other sounds, as you can hear. I feel like getting like lyrics in as well, since we're talking about batteries. Not really sure what to say about batteries. Maybe I can use this mic to sing. Hey. Hello. Continue down that line as far as lyrics goes, I guess. But we need more synthy sounds. We're gonna add like a bunch of tiny sounds. Like like this. Okay.
end it with this mic. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm actually gonna end it here. So there's gonna be sort of a part two where I modify it instead and make another track. But if I'm able to speed mod it, we're gonna loop onto it probably a full on arrangement and then we're gonna pitch that down, separate the tracks and see what happens. It might be really, really cool. If I end up not posting it, it's because it broke. A lot of cool sounds though. I'm pretty fucking satisfied with my purchase. It's gonna be fun to sort of go through all of them and write up all the ones I like. Surprised how good like the bass turned out without doing anything with it. And I mean, it's very, very noisy, but I felt like that's just like the ocean waves and we like that, don't we?